All right, now listen, we are uh, <clears throat> middle Americans that don't live on the coast, so you're going to have to give us a crash course on blue crab. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good morning, Houston. Thanks. The rooster crows. It's time to go do some fishing. Yeah. Actually, we're not going to be fishing today. Yeah, we are. We're going to do something things. a little bit different. So, what's up, guys? We are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, bring our feet, and go and like this video. So, today, we are still we are still in Louisiana, and we had to get up at, like, 5 o'clock this morning. We're going to catch crabs. The net and the chicken at the bottom. <laughs> That's right. We're still in, uh, well, not exactly New Orleans, but really close to New Orleans with Jared from outside the levees. The game plan today, because everywhere we've been, there have been little crabs everywhere. So why not? If the crabs are abundant, let's go catch some crabs. We're going to hopefully catch some blue crabs and boil them up for lunch. That's the plan, right? That is the plan. We are in seafood country here. We got a beautiful brackish water. And, uh, you know, the crabs, they really like summertime. They get real active. That warm water, they're kind of everywhere, like you've been seeing. Yeah. And uh, so right now, we're just going to go set some drop nets with some fish that we caught for bait. Remember the little spot we threw the cast net? We yeah, caught... Houston told him we were going to use chicken, but he didn't really know. <laughs> no, we're you... I got fish that we caught with the cast net. Yeah. I freeze it. I keep it ready for trips like this. So let's go get out there. Let's do it. What you doing, kitty? Good morning. There, crawdad trapper. These are a little different than crawfish. Next. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go. Get them all out. Make sure the fish is in the middle of the net. Ah. Look, grab the net and you can kind of tell which way it needs to go. Flipped it over? Well, don't do you any good if it's flipped over. No, you're good. Throw your weight, I mean your uh, float out there. <laughs> Next. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Look at that sunrise. Mm. Well, all, uh, all of our traps are out. Let them set for a few minutes and we'll go back and start running them. It's just gonna be a kind of an active process of pulling them up and checking them, pulling crabs, sinking them back down. It's not like an actual trap. This is just a net, a big circular net. Crabs come onto it, start eating the bait. You pull it up. They can swim away at any time, but obviously they're hungry and they like to eat. So we're not actually, it's not really like a, a crab trap. We're not going to leave them for hours. We're just going to work our way back and forth down the line and check them and pull crabs in. Yep, and now pull, now get your string out of the basket. And then when you get them, we're going to dump them to that blue basket. Oh, okay. oh, a bigger big one got out. There was a bigger one in there. Yeah. There's a small one. Yeah. So just throw your net back out then. We don't want that little one. We don't want that little one. Right. Nobody yet. Grab the string, buddy. Here, pull, 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 pull. Nothing yet. If you can't grab the float, grab the string. Hey, it might be easier for you to get lower right here and reach over and grab it. Oh, there you go. There's a couple little ones. Not very big. Too 
small. We'll find the big ones in a minute, Houston. Hey, your bait's not in your hoop. Get it on the inside. There you go. Toss him in. There you go. Wow. Now that is more like what we're looking for, Houston. Hurry, hurry. Get him in there. Get him in there. Just get them all in the bucket and then we'll sort through them, okay? There we go. Now toss your net back out. Make sure you're flipped around right. There you go. Hang on. They get twisted off of there on you. Alright, we got our first set of crabs that might have some nice keepers in it. Ooh, look at there. He's gonna come up and get me. A couple smaller ones in there, but. Is there shrimp right there? Keepers what eyes. is that? See that bug? Yeah. There's some little bug. I don't know what it is. There's one in there. Oh. Hey, you lost him. He's getting out. Yeah, I know. That's why he said, hey, quick, pull him in quick, pull him in quick. He's literally going through the holes. That's right. They're going through the holes and they're getting out. Pull it up quick. I did. No. It, it got to the surface hole. and it just hung out there, didn't it? You don't want to uh, agree with me. Them little ones will get out on you, which is okay. There you go. All right, so what do you know about this last trap at the very end now it has the most fish. we've caught the most crabs at this end of our run right yeah so then that means that's why we pulled in some extra traps that weren't catching and we're gonna move them out out here Make sure your bait's in it. All right, try that. And try that. All right. Four out here. Totally different spot. A lot more current. We're trying a few different places. See if we can find some big ones. Spot two, trap number one. Let's see. Pull in a whole bunch, Houston. Nobody's on there. Stuck on something? Sunk down in the mud, huh? What do you mean you couldn't lift 50 pounds of mud? I know. That happened in like 10 minutes, too. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's it'll be Cajun. That's just make we're in Louisiana. Oh, no. he said we are gonna do a Cajun boil on them, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You wanna call it that? Get the rope. Hey, get him in! Get him in! Get him in! Nothing. Ah. Uh, Missed. All right, put him in here. There we go. Now we got to catch this guy. Ooh, there's a couple. That's a 
last one right there. is known as the sportsman's paradise right and we went out we've done a lot of fishing we've done some crabbing we caught our blue crabs this morning we didn't really catch a ton but we're gonna do a boil we're gonna do a louisiana boil Houston loves shrimp we'll have something in here besides crab so we're gonna hit the seafood market it's called today's catch we're gonna go in and check it out get some shrimp maybe some few other things to throw in a pot Yep, they're gonna have some big jumbo shrimp. We'll add that with our crab. We're gonna do some potatoes. We're gonna do some corn. We're gonna do some sausage. We're gonna do some mushrooms. I mean, we can even put carrots in it. What you think? So, is this is this gonna be like a uh, blue crab and shrimp soup? Many fish. No, you get it right. You're actually gonna let it drain off, so there won't be no Dude, soup. We drain the soup no and eat soup. the food. All right, good no deal. Soup. I like that. We drink, we drink the juice that comes out. No, I don't think so. Yeah. No, no. So we went out and caught all the crabs. DJ's the foodie. We got to get DJ some oh, some you food. Love this That's just place. part of of Louisiana, part of the culture down here. The reason you come to Louisiana, New Orleans, and all these places is the food culture. I feel like. Yeah. Right? Why would you come and not not eat? eat? Yeah. yeah. Just take it in. Take it in. Oh, it smells like seafood, oh, huh? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Oh crap. Oh. Mm. Why is Clean crawfish heads. It's just the head, man. Oh, suck it. I'm sure they make something out of just the crawfish heads. But I, I've never seen where you could just buy just crawfish heads. Just the heads. Just the heads. Oh, you said that's so you can stuff them. Jared, how come there? Crabs are a lot bigger than the ones you caught this morning. Because they work with a lot more professional crabbers than you do. <laughs> a lot bigger boats. I bet ours will taste good. Those are probably number ones there. Those look like meetings. Gee, we got all number ones where we come from. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. We got apple smoked sausage, jalapeno cheddar, blueberry, and pineapple. Yum. I need some get some of that. <laughs> Those are Hope you're hungry. You like shrimp, right? That is a lot. Good. Anything else? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, we're gonna try the we're gonna try the pineapple. In our bowl here, I think I think that pineapple sauce should be good. Mm -hmm. Excited to try it? That, yeah. yeah. All right, we got the shrimp, we got our crabs. Uh, well, I'd say it's, <clears throat> some <clears throat> some jerk <clears throat> backed his truck up, and uh, that hurts when you make direct direct contact with your shin. No, we're not going to reenact. No. Yeah. Uh, just walking and talking, and somebody backs the truck up, puts that. He was looking at his phone. He's lying. Yeah. He was looking at his phone. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, I think he's taking us to Tractor Supply. That's. Oh, I hope not. Yeah. yeah. Tractor Supply. Yep. Come on. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's Walmart. Potatoes. potatoes, mushrooms. We need corn on the cob. What I'm else we need? Get, I'm gonna get frozen corn. corn. I'm gonna get frozen corn. He wants frozen corn. Oh, okay. It's already shucked and cut up. We need the uh, the seasoning. Two dozen crabs, which is about what we got. But I can put liquid in there to make. I want to show you guys something. You see this right here? I know this doesn't mean a whole lot to most people, and you don't even have to be a fan. But that Cajun two-step right there is made. <laughs> by a content creator on social media. He has his own seasoning in Walmart. It's called Stale Cracker. 
you know, you don't have to be a fan of Steel Cracker, but I do respect that a social media content creator is selling his own seasoning in Walmart. Oh, y'all, if y'all never heard of Cajun peanut butter, here you go. No, I don't know about that. That's what we had in our, uh, our fish butter. soup last night, man. That That's was our fish butter. soup base. Peanut butter. Yep, there you go. Cajun two-step. Fire seasoning. I don't know. I don't eat gator drool sauce. I'm not saying, well, I'm not trying to promote stale crackers products by any means, but just the fact that a content creator has come up with his own blend of seasonings and spices. Maybe there's another content creator that does some Cajun cooking that needs to have their own you know, I need a catch drop phrase. I don't have I don't have that funny Cajun yeah, catch phrase. Yeah, you don't have the I guarantee. put it on a cracker, dude. You know, yeah, have no, that. I don't know. have it. Just gotta have find it. it. You gotta find it. No, no. You heard it first, right here, outside the levees. He'll have something one day. Just wait, maybe, if he works at it. <laughs> now this, on the other hand, I'm not so much for. That's no, like, really, it's fake. It's just a TV show. Come on now, people. Yellowstone. Look at all the different. And they're still in so much. Gosh. What are you doing? So I found still cracker seasoning, but they got Yellowstone seasoning too. So Oklahoma's uh, favorite food right here. Hey, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> See, down here we got crab, shrimp, we got oysters, we got, you know, boudin sausage, we got jambalaya etouffee. In Oklahoma, they got corn on the cob. Just killed the heat. We got shrimp, we got crabs, we got sausage, potatoes, Oklahoma corn going in. Yeah. Nothing says that was growing in Oklahoma. There's there's really not much corn around us, but we also got some mushrooms. We're gonna throw those in there. Doing everything one-handed because my uh, my lovely wife is in the house. She doesn't like the humidity. Her her uh, her hair doesn't like the humidity. <laughs> <laughs> she turns. She says it. she turns into an alpaca when <laughs> humidity hits. There we go. You just don't want it to cook too fast, or what? Why? Yeah, why so ice? The ice. Yeah, you're trying to bring that temp down because they don't need to cook anymore. Uh, it's cooked. The meat is cooked through. What we need to happen now it's just for it to soak in 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 the seasoned water and let the seasoning into the meat but we're cooked everybody's cooked oh, golly 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 goodness gracious that pineapple sausage i might have sampled the pineapple sausage and it might be amazing it was good it might be amazing that's a nice plate you've got there right just eat it off a tray right <laughs> yeah yeah we're gonna let it cool for just a second because it's steaming hot but we did pull the potatoes out earlier because we had a little um, <clears throat> missing sausage case. Yes. So we had a uh, <clears throat> sausage catastrophe. Bought that pineapple sausage at the seafood market and got home. He was boiling the potatoes and everything. He said, chop up that sausage and we'll throw it in here. I said, where's the sausage? Yeah, it was missing. It got left at the fish market. Somebody was a little too excited over the shrimp and completely left the sausage laying on the countertop. I, I I don't know who it was. Nobody's taking the blame for it. But we're all going to eat it now. We just had to go back to the fish market and pick it up. That's okay. okay. Alright, so since I'm just a nice guy, I'll let you guys fix your plates first. Mama, you have a pan? Yeah, that's my tray. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jared got him a nice tray to eat off of. Because I don't want nothing to stick to it. You know, so uh, you got the non-stick non tray, non-stick crawfish. Hey, hey you, you gotta, in? you just gotta dig in. Oh. Dig in. Just. No tray. Oh my gosh, it's all hot. It 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 definitely is hot. That's the goal here. Jared's got you a spoon if you want to use it instead. Oh, yeah. let's, get, let's get you scooped up. Huh? <laughs> All right, now listen, we are uh, <clears throat> middle Americans that don't live on the coast, so you're going to have to give us a crash course on blue crab. Okay. Okay. Good. That's perfect. Good. Thank you. All right. All right, Houston, you're up. Houston wants shrimp. Want he wants sausage. Yeah. He wants corn. You want corn? Okay. Oh, yeah. You want shrimp? Yes. Oh, yeah. Right, what don't you want? Let me ask you that. Mushrooms. What? what don't you About want? About the only thing he won't eat, there's mushrooms. Okay. Come on, buddy. There's one of our blue crabs pulled straight out of the water this morning, Houston. One more. One more shrimp. One more shrimp? Yeah. Okay. There you go, bro. Let's see. So on a blue crab, this is the apron. This is a male. His apron's long and skinny. I, if we had, I think we tried to put most of our small females there. All right. So you want to peel the apron, pop the shell, okay? If there's any fat, which, you know, these crabs are a little small, so you're not going to have a lot of fat. You go ahead and get your fat out, then you remove the, uh, that's the gills, the, the lungs. I'll try to get some of the face out the way, and then that's kind of the basic of what you're working towards. Then you want to pop that in half, and from here on out, it's just a matter of removing these top pieces of shell to get down to the meat. So you can try to crack it in sections, but that's the best part of the crab right there. That's the lump. So I'm going to try the fish first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you mean shrimp? Shrimp. All right. Okay. Houston got his first fresh caught blue crab. Cracked, peeled. Give us a taste test. Come on. Come on. It's good. Uh, I honestly myself don't like crab very much so but i like it it's good you just said you like stone crab you like no. snow crab that's all what do you think mom i think it's good you like it yep what about those work. what about those giant Slice my finger. louisiana shrimp i haven't made it there yet how's the pineapple sausage delicious oh i agree yeah it's uh, a little different than anything we get in oklahoma Blue crab's a little bit of work to eat, but it's delicious. I'm not mad about it. Nobody's mad about it. It's just a say in Houston. Like, why would you be mad at it? So we didn't actually catch just a ton of giant blue crab today, but we did get to go out, have a lot of fun, had a lot of had a great time hanging out with Jared. Guys, like I said in the other videos, go check out his channel, Outside the Levees. It's a cool story, cool channel. He does a lot of cool catch, clean, and cook stuff. I don't, look at that. Giant Louisiana shrimp. We didn't catch these today, but they are local. And like I said earlier, part of the reason we go on these trips and part of the reason we do this stuff is, is the food experience. And... The New Orleans area, Louisiana, is a food experience. And I haven't been down here since Hurricane Katrina. I was here for 10 days during Katrina, but we weren't here for the food then. I lived on MREs in a tent in a Walmart parking lot, but that's a whole other story for another day. Today is about eating. It's about food. It's about friends. It's about family. Sitting here on the porch in 100-degree heat, <laughs> eating some boiled shrimp. Some boiled blue crabs, and just experiencing something that we don't get to do every day. Right? Right. Um, <laughs> might have boiled a stick too. It's all good. Sorry. I just shot across that. You're shooting me. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. Amazing. I knew you'd like the shrimp. I think the crabs are too much work for Houston. The shrimp are just right. Huh. Yeah, that corn's got your lips on fire, though, huh? 
<laughs> that corn lit you up a little bit. That's all right. Well, guys, there you have it. Blue crab, catch, clean, and cook kind of turned into mostly shrimp. That shrimp was amazing. Fresh, local caught. The blue crab, obviously, were fresh and local caught. A uh, little boil. Nothing fancy, but uh, we've had a great time in Louisiana. I think we're going to try to do something else tomorrow. One more video probably while we're here. We'll see. But it is hot and steamy. I think we're going to go back to the hotel, take a shower and crash there and find something to do this evening. I think we may go explore around the French Quarter. Go down actually into New Orleans and check out some food and stuff there. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. You look like you need a nap. We've been getting Houston up too early. We were out of bed and met Jared at his boat, uh, I think at 530 this morning. This guy needs a nap. So anyways, guys, that's all we've got today. Uh, be sure to go check out Outside the Levees. You'll love it. If you're into anything fishing, catch, clean, and cook type stuff, they're just awesome people. It's great. It's great to meet other YouTubers. Great to do this kind of stuff and get out and help somebody out. Go subscribe to their channel. I know they would appreciate it. And uh, Houston, why don't you wrap this thing up before you fall asleep? Okay. It's mostly the sun in my eyes. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.